Hello dear viewers, welcome to Dante Computer Solutions. We are going to work on the second exercise of the Microsoft Office Word. And the exercise entails that we open a word processing program and we key in the following text as it appears. Then we save the document as change management in the next exam folder. Uh, therefore, I have already uh, typed this particular information on the Microsoft Office Word and I have saved it in my folder therefore I'll simply go to my folder then I open this particular work then after that we'll be able to do some formattings so that our work will look exactly like this one therefore I go to my files and I open the change management so I just double click I open it so this is it So this is my work, the change management. So after you type, the first thing you do is that you highlight the change management. We say that these are alignments. We have left align, we have center, and we have the right align. So we click on center so that you may have uh, the title at the center. After that, we can also highlight the we can also highlight the reasons for change so we select it then we also apply it at the sender after that we can bold it and then we have this one here we highlight all the pro all that text then we apply the numbering so we will go to numbering you click this one this is numbering then we can be able to select one, two, three to number those particular text. So after that, we are going to apply the pa the page layout. We apply two columns on this specific text. Uh, therefore, we just click on the page layout. Then we click on columns. After we click on columns, we go to the more columns. Then we choose two and we click line between here after that you press ok and you can see that it automatically separates the whole text to two columns so after that we can highlight uh, the uh, title we bold it then we can be able to highlight all the other text down here we apply the bullets they are known as bullets therefore we click on the home tab then we go to the bullets and we can be able to choose that bullet so that is it. After that, we will now check on the next questions. So I'll go back to our work. And we are requesting. Format the heading to bo to the font bookman old style. Then the font style we bold. And also we change the size to 20. And we apply all caps. So we are going to start by formatting the heading to font bookman old style. Therefore, we highlight the heading, which is the change management. Then this is the font. Therefore, you click this button. Then we are requesting to apply a font by the name Bookman Hold Style. Therefore, this is Bookman Hold Style. You just click it, and you can you can see that the change management title has has changed his font. After that, we are requesting to bold bold you just click this B to make the selected text bold so you bold it then we increase the size to 20 still under the font you come to the font size then you click size 20 and after that they request us to apply all caps to change the whole text to capital letters therefore still under home tab on the font you click on this tab here this is changing the case so you click it then to change it to capital letters, you click uppercase. And you can see that the text has changed to capital letters. After that, we do the next question, which says, apply 1.5 line spacing to the text and you save the changes. We apply 1.5 line spacing to the text, then we save the changes. Therefore, we open our work here. We... If you want to select all the text, you can long press control on your keyboard and letter A. That is a shortcut to select all 
or you can just highlight the whole document. After that, still under the Home tab, on the Paragraph section, you click on this button here. And then we are requesting to change the line spacing to 1.5. Therefore, you click 1.5 and you can see that the spacing between the text has increased to 1.5. So there is quite a large space between the text. So after that, we will also work on the C, the first letter C, which is this one. You can see that it, uh, they have applied what we call drop cap. Therefore, we will go back to our program. We highlight the letter C. Then we click on insert. Then we apply drop cap. Therefore, you click drop cap. And you can be able to click dropped. After you click that, you go back to drop cap. We can reduce. Therefore, we go to drop cap options. Then we can drop the lines to two, two lines. Therefore, we have three here. You just click the down arrow to have two, two lines to drop. And you press OK. And you can be able to see that the C is only dropped on two lines. So that is the end of our second exercise of the Microsoft Office World. Thank you for watching this video.